today because we're going to go live. Hi Facebook, hi YouTube, how is everybody? I was just saying to our friends here on Instagram, I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Very warm welcome to my studios if you are watching me live on Monday lunchtime. It's kind of a grey day. I went for a nice walk around Battersea Park this morning. I took my cup of coffee with me. That was really nice. Sat on a bench, looked at the lake and the ducks and just kind of Ooh, had a moment of calm before the start of a really, really busy week. Uh, if you're watching me on Catch Up, you're watching me on YouTube, welcome to my channel. We've got a really good, good guest today. One of our favourites, the wonderful Rupert, co-founder of Delilah Cosmetics that he started with his wife, which is a lovely British beauty brand. We do have a Liz Loves affiliate discount code, so make a note of anything that you fancy. 20% off single items, not the sets because they're already discounted, but the single items. So if you spot anything, and we're going to be doing a real focus on lips, which I am so looking forward to because, you know, I'm such a coward when it comes to lips. Honestly, I mean, I barely, I, mean, I just have a bit of, you know, sheer gloss on at the moment. I, I just... I don't know, I mean, I can do a smoky eye, I can do, you know, kind of a little bit of extra bronzing and blusher and things, but when it comes to a darker lip, that's when I really begin to panic. So he's gonna talk us through all sorts of different lip ideas for the new season, because we're stepping into autumn and that's a time when, you know, we tend to be surrounded by stronger colors anyway, don't we? If you go into nature, you know, you see the lovely russets and the golden hues of the leaves and even the bright kind of crimsons of the maple leaves changing colors, which are just always so lovely. So why not? Why not translate and put a bit of that onto our faces? Um, before I get going with Rupert, just to remind you, because I. I've had lots of messages about my Ivy collection. It is going really quickly, unfortunately. Well, you know, fortunately for the jewellery brand, but not so fortunately if you want it. I'm wearing the little rose gold Ivy, which comes, it's an adjustable chain, so you can kind of wear it up or down when it's a little dongle here. Um, with the little ivy leaf at the end. You see how you can adjust it? Anyway, it is all 25% off the ivy collection at the moment. These are the little earrings. So these are the rose gold. Anyway, I'm just throwing that out there because um, they will probably disappear quite soon. Oops, let's just check my iPad here, make sure that we're all geared up. Got Lainey in the house today on Facebook. Hi, Lainey. Thank you very much for manning Facebook for us. Uh, those of you who are regulars will know that Facebook, we can put links on which is really nice so that you don't have to, you know, scurry about finding links to things because they're all just there. So if you have a Facebook account, actually, you want to check it later for ease, then please do go to the Liz Our Wellbeing Facebook page. Instagram, obviously, we can't do links, but what we do do is in the little bio, so the little round circle picture that has Liz Our Wellbeing, which is the magazine logo. If you click on that, that brings up a load of links. But they're not all there because we have so many now. But just head to the mothership, which is lizarwellbeing.com. And if you click on Liz Loves, you'll find all the discount codes there and all the features. So things like podcasts, free articles to download, I mean, PDFs on my ebooks, so many things. It's all there on lizarwellbeing.com. So let us see if Rupert is in the house, shall we? Because I would love to be talking. <laughs> Talking lips, autumn lips. Now, Rupert, I don't see you at the moment if there's a request to join. So if you want to do that, I am right here. Hi, very nice to see you. View request, Delilah Cosmetics. Yes, let's hope this works. Um, oh, I'm so pleased. Uh, your husband is going to the doctors after reading the menopause section about men. Whoa, well, we'll talk about that in just a moment, but maybe not with Rupert, because he looks far too young. <laughs> Hi, darling, how are you? I'm very well indeed, and it's lovely to see. I always sit for a minute or so thinking, have we connected? Am I here? So, I yeah, it's, it, it's lovely to see you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I've had a, had a very busy and slightly... I don't know what the word is, a bit of a discombobulating few weeks because I finally sold my farm and I've been moving. I've been moving house for, for kind of months, literally, with packing boxes and the summer holidays and the actual, you know, kind of drop dead completion date was last week, which was just a weird thing, yeah. you know, handing over the keys. Yeah. Um, sure. So I, I went and sat on a beach at the weekend and just looked at the sea and that was, that was really nice, actually, just to kind of, oh, 
Just let everything yeah, right. go. An end of an era, a new yeah, chapter. Yeah, but it's, it's good. And I think, you know, you have to... Life changes. I mean, the one constant in life is that there is no constant. Exactly. Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, exactly. that is just the one thing. There is always change. And I remember, you know, from my time at the beauty company, when that grew from being little tiny wee brand to, you know, big global yeah. brand, you know, before selling it. And it was constant change. Every day right. it was change and people's jobs right. changed and our focus changed and the direction changed. And it was really your ability to manage change, which exactly. was the difference between success and failure. How sure. well can yeah. you cope with just having an open mind, being flexible, staying positive? You know, it's really, it's really good advice because, it, it, you know, you describing your journey there, of course, makes us think of our journey. And it's almost exactly seven years that we've had Delilah now. Mm. So we launched Delilah in, in 2014, sort of September 1st, really. Um, and mm. there has been a huge change that has gone on to, in, in Delilah, you know, so kind of since we first launched. Mm -hmm. And just, you know... It, it, the way we think about the brand and, you know, when, when you come out of the gate and you launch a brand and you have an idea about what you're going to do, and it's not until you get it into the hands of people that they say, actually, we really like this about your brand or we really like these products or we, you know, we really like this concept and idea that you've got. Yeah. And you've got to be prepared to listen to that and think, rock well, <laughs> you, yeah. you, know, you know best. Yeah. Let's go, best. let's change. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember when, you, when I first started my magazine, which is now probably about five years ago. Gosh, I don't quite believe it can be that long, but it must be coming up for five years, I think, this Christmas. It's quick. You know, we thought print is dead and we're just going to do online. We started online yeah. and yeah. we thought it might just be a one-off or a quarterly or whatever. And then everybody said, well, we love it, but we don't really want to read it on, you know, on our phones or on a tablet. We, we'd like you to be in print. And that really surprised me because we were just not prepared for that. Everyone was saying print is dead, magazines, right. you know, aren't going to survive, books aren't going to survive. So right. we then had to sort of almost reverse engineer it into the printed version, which I love. I mean, I, I come from a print. Of course, so. how lovely to have something to hold. It's yeah. Got to see. I, you know, I still love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you must feel that with your brand, watching it. Your brand is a bit like a baby, isn't it? You know, you, you kind of, you give birth to it. You have this idea and this desire right. and then it just grows and it becomes its own thing. It has its own personality, you know, if you like. The, the funny thing about technology, and certainly with iPhones at the minute, if, if anyone's got the sort of most, and probably the Samsung phones do this as well, but my phone has start, started showing me memories without me asking mm. it to. It kind of pops up on my home screen. You get these kind of wonder, wonderful photographs. And, of course, you know, it, the journey of Delilah has been documented, of course, you know, you know, with my iPhone. So having these photographs pop up from five years ago, yeah. four years ago, six years ago, you know, product development meetings or photo shoots that we've done or, or packaging shoots that we've done, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's been a, a colourful journey, but we're thrilled to, to still yeah. be here and, and to have evolved the line a little bit. You know, yeah. the last couple of years has been really interesting. And in fact, with us talking about lips, it kind of feeds in quite nicely because nobody's talking about, has been talking about lip colour. Well, we've nearly... all been wearing flipping masks for so long. Really? I mean, <laughs> lipstick sales must have plummeted. I mean, why, why would you wear a lipstick? But now it's like, free the smile. Let's get back, know, you know, let's right? put our lips on. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, and, and the, a couple of other interesting things. You know, the whole mask culture has been interesting because I have been, and we sort of moved into our new offices here in, in Marlow while we were all wearing masks. And I met people for the first time mm. while they were wearing masks. And I had never seen the rest mm. of their face. And every time I met them, they were wearing a mask. And the human brain's a funny thing, isn't it? Because you start to fill in the gap, right? You start to think, oh, I probably think I know what you look like without your mask on. Mm. And then, and then a few weeks later, you meet them without their mask. And you yeah. think, oh, no. I mean, I, I was talking to a clinical psychologist, actually, who was saying how traumatic it is for babies and young children who've never seen human faces. I mean, they may have seen their parents, but, you know, that's it. And there's going to be, you know, a huge psychological impact. You know, we don't isn't know. This is a massive psychological societal yeah. experiment, isn't it, going yeah, forward? Yeah. It's, Babies it's and young children. But, um, yeah. but anyway, let's move on to really positive, good things, because we are going to yes, talk about lips. Absolutely. And, and as I said to, you know, my, my lovely friends here, I am a bit nervous of this, because this is my kind of natural lip colour. And to be honest with that. you, 
I don't really do anything with it. I wear a bit of a, a gloss, maybe, occasionally. We had this conversation a bit before, <laughs> and, and the last time we've done makeup together, we've done a kind of general thing, we've done bronzy makeup, we've done some eye makeup, and we seem to have steered away from it. So I'm very mm. glad to have brought you here finally. Um, you know, and there are, I, listen, I've sent you some safety nets. Yeah, I, I've got well. some lovely things. So the, these are some of the colours that you've sent, which do look amazing, <laughs> slightly scary. Obviously, this one being Good. my favourite currently, but there we go. Um, we've got Good. a really beautiful little box set which is so pretty um and then a couple of things i also i have tried this one too which again i love that's totally jewel. my color i knew that you would and these really interesting jewel colors so where would you like to start well look look let's i i think do you have some makeup wipes with you because my feeling i is don't do we... wipes wipes no, are like i beg your pardon so i have i have tissues i have sustainable right. wood pulp tissues and a little bit of uh, eye cream, which you know, I, I actually use sometimes just to kind of clean that my lips. Work so, will that be okay? That, that was me being a makeup artist then. You know, we've spent years on shoots and with we've wipes. always got I know, some, honey, that, I know. that pack of evilness with us. But I mean, you know, for getting off the back of the hand and stuff, great. Whatever mm -hmm. you've got, because my feeling is we should try a couple of colours on. Okay. And I'm going to say right out of the gate, lips, some are going to work and okay. some you might love. Some you may not love, and that's okay as well. Okay. We're all here to support you, all right? <laughs> and some, some you may be surprised by. But look, I'm going to say, with lipsticks, you know, it is great to have your go... You should figure out what your go-to colour is. Everybody should yeah. have... Figure out what their go-to colour is and what works for them. But I also think it's fun to try something new, and you sure. should try as try as bright as you dare. So look, let's let's start with lip liner. You know, right. now, now I did send you the new the new lip wardrobe here, yeah. and and we are doing the, the of course we're, we we love to support your community with the Liz Loves discount. I'm going to say because this is a already a discounted item. Yeah. The, the code won't work on this Fine. item because we've already brought the price down that. on this. Yeah. But I will say this, Liz. Inside is a lip is a lip liner called Buff, which mm -hmm. is now in the line full time. So oh, great. So you can like get this separately. Lip, you can get this separately right. and the Liz Love code, code will work. Fine. Okay, so tell me, do you wear lip liner normally? No, I can't be bothered. Why should I? Right. Okay, so, so no, you're not the only person that says that to me. And, and lip liner is Marmite. You know, people either, you know, can't go anywhere. And I'm worried about that. I mean, I grew up in the 70s with the brown lip liner filled in with, with pink or red. And it was just so it's obvious. Right, okay. Uh, right, looks like you've been eating chocolate cake. Yeah, I yeah. know what you mean with the, with the brown eyeliner. Okay, so we're not going to do that. So first off, just a couple of things. Yeah. If you if you are developing fine lines, feathery lines along your lips, yeah. and you find that lipstick shifts around a little bit, lip line will, will stop that happening because yes. it's going to create a little barrier along the lip line and stop it from moving Okay, around. yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I've got little lines here on my upper lip. Haven't we all? We all have so them. this is a super creamy formulation, and, and it's a new, it's a nudie colour, but mm -hmm. it's a, it's a little nude. It's got a little bit of pink to it, okay. so you're really going to like this. So what I want you to do, and often what I tend to do is just support my elbow when okay. I'm putting my lip liner on. Mm -hmm. well, no, but what I say is support your elbow so you're holding it, yep. and then you can just rest your little finger on your chin, and you should be able okay. to just... And really just start, oh, what I tend to do is start start at start the here? top, actually, and just work your top. way through. Yeah, nice. Just work your way through the Cupid's bow first. Perfect. It's a very Whoa. creamy formulation. That is so, so light. I mean, I can see a difference already. Right, yeah. Actually. And so, uh, again, if you feel like you have thinner lips, there is an opportunity to sneak a little bit over the lip line here. Okay. It, it never really works for me, I think, if you completely redraw the lip yeah. line in. I think that you can always spot that. But you can sneak a little bit over if you feel I quite like, like making my though. Cupid's bow just a little bit more kind of... Oh, you, you know, like to make it more... Okay, so listen, a, a little really bit more panty. Mm -hmm. Actually, sometimes if you fill the Cupid's bow in and flatten it, the lip looks a little bit rounder. Ooh. That's quite a modern look, actually. You can flatten that Cupid's bow out and you get this kind of rounder top lip. It's a, it's a really nice kind of voluptuous lip. It looks like lip. I've got filler or something in my lips now. Right, okay, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's the look that we're going well, for. Well, you know, slightly, slightly kind of, know you know, slightly plumped okay. up. It's nice as you age because your lips do okay, get thin. Good. 
good, good, good. Fine, 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 fine. And then, and then also, Liz, the next part is often this bottom corner here. Like, I feel like the, mm. the, the colour disappears a little bit there. So if you can sketch that in and fill that in, yeah, you're right, actually. Your lips are looking plumper already. Yeah. But in, 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 a, in a good way, not in a... Not in a good in a, way. Not in a in too a kind way. of pneumatic way. <laughs> <laughs> and then just filling in on the other side. And the trick is, Liz, really to... To fill the whole lip in, so rather than oh, really just do the whole the whole yeah, lip. Yeah. So, so mm. once you've done the line, don't be afraid to just fill the whole lip in. And there's a couple of reasons. One is what we don't want is that dreaded line that you were just talking about, right? That yeah, kind of dark enough. line around lips. Yeah, we don't want that. We want to fill the whole lip in. And two, as our as our kind of lipstick comes off or our lip color comes off, we're left we're left with a little bit of color underneath, yeah. and you'll see. The, nice. This is a really pretty colour just yeah, on its own. Just on its own. And often, often I say to women, look, if you're nervous about lipstick or you don't want to wear lip gloss, taking a bit of lip liner and just filling your lips yeah. in just with your lip pencil, you know, that, and that looks great, mm. actually. Now the lips, as you say, look kind of fuller and plumper. Yeah, no, I'm really happy and, with that. And this formulation is waterproof. So that will go on Ooh. and that will stay on all day. Right, yeah. So if you wanted to put a little bit of gloss over that, yeah. or you wanted to put a little bit of lip balm over it, or yeah. you were you were just going to be putting your mask on and off all day, which we're still yeah. doing a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Still doing that. The lip liner will stay on, you know, without without yeah, putting any lipstick on mm. at all. Now, the reason why I've chosen this colour is it's pretty close to your natural lip colour. And so we can put any colour that we want over the top now, and it's going to work really, really well. So again, I've gone of the days where I match lipsticks to lip liners. What I try to do is find a nice lip liner colour that's close to the natural lip colour, but has a hint of something to mm. it. So that as, as I say, as the lip colour wears off, you're, you're left with something. And that colour looks really nice. Really so that colour is buff. It's, buff. Our, it's our, new, our newest liner. Lovely. I will just say this um, as well. It, uh, there is a little um, uh, pencil sharpener at the other end of that pencil. No you, way. If, Where's the pencil yeah. sharpener? In here? Uh, if you pull, go and pull that. There, yeah, pull it. Ta -da! That I is know, right? so clever. And, so, so, and then, then what do you do? You take this end off and... So, so what you can do is, and what it will do is, is, if you, is, as you twizzle in there, it'll just kind Ooh. of shave the tip a little bit. You'll shave a little bit off. Make sure you don't drop that in, in your lap there, Liz, but you'll shave so a little bit clever. off. And then you'll just get a nice sharp edge again. Yeah. So if you do like to get a nice sharp edge to your lip line, yeah, do you, can sharp, you, you can sharpen that up. Yeah, exactly. That's very now, neat. That looks great. Let's, 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 let's play it safe first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's just, just show what it looks like to pop a gloss over that. I think that could be really fun. This colour is dual. Uh, it is a nice kind of pinky nude colour. I think you may have tried it before, but I'd like yeah. you to have a look and see what it looks like with the lip line underneath it. So you can just go straight from the wand there. And the great thing about lip glosses these days, so this has like a botanical cell activator. Got you. It actually... Dual. That's it. It'll actually energise the, the cells in the lips a little bit. So mm. the more you wear it, actually, the softer your lips will get. Yeah. Nice. So what I would do is just dab a little in the middle uh -huh. of your bottom lip. Dab a little bit there. Smells and then great. flatten it together. Yeah, it smells delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. That, so, so actually, the fragrance we were going for, it's funny you, when we were talking earlier about um, launching brand you know mm. we spend we spend a lot of time nice. with fragrance and fragrances right something Excuse me, that... i'm just going to go and shut my door of course because we've started they've started strimming outside <laughs> so i don't know whether you can hear that but i'm just going to shut the internal door just go, to go, kind of go, dull, the, go. dull the noise a bit that's all right look i've lost her already we've only been chatting 10 minutes and she's gone she's left i was going to pick the wrong lip color for her Oh, she's, she's yelling out the window at the man with the streamer. Quite right. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. She's, she's unleashing on them, whoever it is, telling them to stop shrimming, shrimming. Oh. 
uh, some questions here. Do you know what? I might ask for some of these questions. Which sorry, 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 sorry. I actually, I went out and just smiled at them and asked if they wouldn't mind just holding off. And they were and we, could, so. and we could hear. We thought you were giving it to them out the window, actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Kill with kindness. Always much better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that lip colour looks beautiful, actually. Mm. Just dabbing a little bit. Just, so and that was with, the tiniest know, with, bit. Oh, my goodness. It's going to last forever. So, so this is the thing with lip gloss is, is, you know, if you were around in the 90s, you know, when lip gloss was huge and we just used to slather it on, it was mm. like, um, it felt like wearing marmalade on your lips. It was <laughs> sticky and your hair would stick to your face and you yeah. couldn't kiss people because they'd stick to your face. You know, whereas actually now just like dabbing a little bit of colour yeah, onto your tiny, lips to give tiny, it a bit tiny. of a shin. And that looks really pretty. Now we've got mm. like a nice highlight and look at that's a perfect Liz lip, isn't it? Look how that, I'm very are. comfortable with this. We should stop there, but we're not going <laughs> so to. So thank you so but... much, Rupert. It's been lovely to chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you don't get you don't get off that, that easily. Okay, so then, yeah, so I tell you what you could do actually. What you could do is if you just grab a uh, tissue and I did have some somewhere, okay, and actually instead of wiping This is it jewel, all, by the way. Some I think Jane's asking jewel. 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 Has a little it's a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's yeah, reasonably like it. transparent, but it's just a very easy colour mm. to wear. Over the top of your lipsticks, on on, on, yeah. on a naked lip like this, or over the top of a lip liner. That's lovely. So this coming off now, is it? Come on, yeah, come on. Let's do the next trip. Okay, okay so just blot off. Perfect, because mm -hmm. we want to leave the lip liner on. Perfect, just okay. blot off. Yeah. Try not to take the lip liner off. If yeah, you need still to... got that. Okay, perfect. I mean, that's good. That's stayed right. put, that, that lip liner. It really, really will. Yeah. Okay, right, so this is where we start to get a little, I have a little bit, a little bit scarier. I have selected a colour for you, which I know you're going to bulk at, but I think we should give it a go. Okay. Um, then you've got a little bit of warmth to your skin. Your skin's got a really nice tone to it at the minute. You're looking quite bold. Yeah, I was initially, I got a little bit, you know, I, I used a oh, sunblock, obviously, but a tiny bit of A colour. little bit of colour. Mm. All right, so I've selected, I mean, and we were in the last dying throes of summer. So if anyone has got a little bit of a tan or a little bit of colour, I tell you, what can be really fun can be a coral. All right, now Ooh, this is like where you're holding that. Okay. On, on the screen. I'll, I'll just do know, that. So quite... Rupert's done this just so that everybody on Facebook. My television can see. shopping days. Television <laughs> shopping days, exactly. <laughs> how, how to show the colour of a lipstick. I love it. Look at that. And what's this one called? It's called Tango. Tango. Okay. Tango. Tango. Yeah, we, call, we called it. If you remember the, the Tango ads of the. Early yeah, 19, you've been tangoed. Are you going to tango me? Tango. That was where that colour came from. Okay, so lipsticks always look much brighter in the stick okay. than, than they do on the lip, all right? Yep. So what I want you to do is, is take this colour, and mm -hmm. what you're going to do, Liz, is you're going to run a little on the bottom lip, okay. and then you're going to press your lips together. Let's okay, just have so a go. just the bottom lip, so okay. Straight from the billet onto the bottom lip, and just stop for me, and just press together. Pretty, nice. That uh, is quite a pretty colour. Okay, color. yeah. That That's is not too scary, color. is it? It's not too scary. No, no, I'm staying with it. I'm, I'm quite happy at the moment. It seems to make my teeth look whiter too. Okay, so this is the great thing about the orange, the orangey colours. In fact, is often oh. they will make the teeth look whiter. That's yeah. really pretty. Yeah. That's really, really pretty. Okay. So those. Cor what do we think? Yes, no. Yeah, lots of hearts coming on well, Instagram. We'll, we'll yeah, see. I think, Let's I think see. we've I mean, got a, we've got a thumbs up. I think. They will hold no bars. Looks lovely. Okay, very fresh. Uh, it's a pretty colour. It's, it's, it's not an orange, actually. It's 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 a feels it's like a, a pretty colour. Yeah, coral. It, it it it's a coral. So Quite here's useful. the thing about um, um, we were talking about red lipsticks, and lot, lots of people feel nervous about brights or reds. A uh, coral is a great compromise. If you feel like you want to try a little bit of colour, and mm. you've tried all the nudes, and they can look a bit flat or look a bit dull, yeah. pick something that has a little coral undertone to it. Especially if you've got a bit of a tan, or you're doing some self-tanning yeah. as well. Yeah, you know, sure, so a bit of bronzer. Mm -hmm. If you've done some bronzer and you, your skin's looking warm, a, a coral often mm. surprises people. And with a lip line underneath it, with a more nude colour lip line underneath, yeah. oh, look, nice coral, great with navy. Yeah, they're great loving it. Great with navy. So, yeah, really good. Coral and navy, that's navy. a great combination. So yeah. it's going to be really nice, again, if you're going on a, a late summer holiday, if you're going to get some late summer sun, yeah. take a coral lipstick with you in the evening. You know, if your skin's looking nice. great, you can do some mascara, some coral lipstick. You can even dab a little bit onto your cheeks. Oh, what a good idea. Could be, could be the one colour yeah. that you wear sort of throughout your summer holidays. Or yeah. 
It also, if you're going, you know, we're moving into the party season soon. Do you know what? A, like an, a coral lipstick with a black dress can be beautiful. Mm, you know, really just, simple, just, but just a simple eye pulls you together. Skin, a little mm -hmm. bit more of a statement lip with a coral really starts to, to pull everything together. Mm. So Liz, that's very, very pretty. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. You, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that one. That is, that is <laughs> good. Right. That is good. Okay. That has got the right. thumbs up. Okay, so the reason why we're actually having this conversation is, is the last time we spoke, we talked about red. And I think Kerry, the lovely Kerry September, yeah. who, who uh, had put you in a red, I think, and... and, and yeah, I, to see, I, I think there was a magazine cover somewhere. I, and I think you with told... With a red, and I, don't, I wiped it off. Actually, there is one, I'm going to show you. Come There's on. one, which, this is kind of, it's not even a real red, it's about as red as I've ever gone. I think this was, this was a oh, cover a couple a... of years ago. Okay, a little you know, bit corally, in it's fact. It's a corally red, but it's not a real red. It's a nice corally red. Okay, pretty. So these corally tones, they definitely work, you know. And mm -hmm. like I say, you know, if you're going out and trying lipsticks, pick up these corals. Let's kind of make a quick point, actually, about yeah. going out and, and, and trying lipsticks. Look, it, you know, we are thrilled that the beauty industry has opened back up again. Mm. So we work with some beautiful department stores. We're, we're thrilled to be in Fortnum & Mason's in London. Right, Next time you're in London, um, pop, pop into Piccadilly and, and, yeah, and go I up and, and, and sit right there. Mm. You know, those of us who work in the beauty industry, hygiene is built into what we do. You know, some of us trained 20, 25, 30 years ago. We've mm. always understood how important hygiene is and hygiene, hygiene practices. Going and visiting your local salon or spa location, if they're going to try and make up on you, they will have the best hygiene practice, practices yeah. to, to, to look after you and make sure that you're safe, you know. And, and there are some things that they should be doing and they will know how to do it. Yeah. So now the industry is opening back up again it is safe to go and see your trusted beauty salon or the department store that you normally absolutely pop into. and they're using uh, disposable brushes and all of that kind of thing all so. of those things so we so we are um, continually you know spritzing our testers and scraping our testers to make sure that they're clean yeah. as you say we've always kept clean hands yeah yeah and, definitely you know, that's yeah. always what we've done clean disposable uh, as you say disposable applicators there is a way to go and mm. do this safely yeah as well yeah, and look really i'll be point. honest if you're in an environment and you don't feel safe then leave say look i'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm gonna give this yeah. a miss let's go somewhere else you know yeah. but yeah but, but go out and try some lip colors do, do before we do move that. on to the red and i'm not stalling i promise but i just wanted to say <laughs> that um there have been a couple of questions about bronzers particularly as you mentioned coral and i think it's lovely in yeah. september to try and hang on to a little bit of that kind of sun-kissed glow for those of us who are normally perhaps a little bit on the pale side these are the ones that I've got, and of yours, uh, and I'd just like you to talk us through again, because I've got the Pure Light yeah. Lustre, yeah. and I've got the Sunset Medium Dark. The Sunset Medium Dark. Which is actually bronzer. great. It's not too dark. You know, when you, when you sent it to me, and I thought, oh, Medium Dark, that, that's not going to work for me, because, you know, I'm not a Medium Dark person. But I look at that. This is, this is a perfect, perfect shade, universal shade. And it's not orange. It's you not know, orange. Bronze, no. They, should, they shouldn't have that red orange undertone to them. You know, they should yeah. have a golden tone to them. So, so, how, so how do we use this if we want to give ourselves a little bit of a bronzy look now coming into the Okay, so, so uh, a, a big brush, a uh -huh. big brush, something big will keep you nice and safe. That, that will do as well. Great. A little a little dab in, into your bronzer. And yep. my, I don't know if you remember my tip, Liz, but it's always to yeah. press into the lid. Press it so onto there, it. And Get rid of the excess on here. The lid. The press it in and then i always start up on the forehead yeah so okay. so you know where you've been out in the sun just adding some warmth like a little rainbow shape along the hairline first and rainbow. blending down okay. the, remember the rainbow. yeah so along yeah. that area where you uh -huh. would normally catch the sun next then next is up and down the cheekbone so along the cheekbone itself just sweeping yeah good dabbing in the lid and then sweeping off Try not to go under the cheekbone. There was a little bit of a trend of sucking oh, the yeah, cheeks. Oh, yeah, doing here. Under, uh, yeah, but no. try and come a little higher okay. than that on the cheekbone itself. That's it. Because that's where the sun will hit your face, Liz. Sure. You know, that's where you'll catch catch the sun. Now, I always go next. I always go under here. Yeah. Because we're always a little pale in the hair. Not, yeah. not so much here on the chest. Yeah. We're just connecting yeah. that colour together by yeah. just filling in that pale area there. 
And now with what's left on the brush, I'll sweep through the middle of the face. But of course, through the chin and the tip of the nose. Just that's a little bit. Yeah. Just the tiniest so what bit. we're doing, creating a little bit of shape to the face, but also just giving some warmth as well. And that looks yeah. really pretty. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. Feel, and this I is feel a matte up. bronzer, which I, I think is so much more um, flattering. Nice. You know, not too shimmery. We can add some illuminator late, later on, but the, the matte Excellent. bronzer is a great way to go. Lovely colour. Thank you. Okay, so take this off now. Okay, so press it off. Press it off. Press, press it off. It and again, off. I would, if you have a, um, just oh, try and like press this. it off. Okay. You know, my um, window is, my um, office is on, on the ground floor here, and I, I have a window um, mm. <laughs> right here. Um, and I'm often trying makeup products out. So this morning, we did <laughs> some new products, but I'm here on my own. And I have a little mirror here, and I often have to put products on my face, this, because I mm. need to know what they, fit, they feel like. You know, and this, as I say, is a new office. And I can often see people wandering by looking at I mean, What is that bloke doing? Endlessly sitting there putting makeup on his face. Putting makeup on all day. <laughs> it's a strange kind of a job, really. <laughs> um, okay, okay, brilliant. Good. So I've still, I've still got, got my liner. That's stayed on. That's amazing. I love it. This base is just brilliant. Okay, so um, let's just talk. Can we just talk about race? Just let's just okay. talk about race before you put it on. I sent you two um, liquid colours here. These, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I have. Um, and and what I, what I wouldn't mind you doing if you start with the colour retro, which is the darker bluer version. This, can you take a little bit okay. out? Do you mind just putting a little bit on the back of your hand for me? Just this reminds me, I interviewed Paloma Picasso once, years one. ago, and she had one colour red lipstick. She has a fragrance yeah. range, I don't know if it's still going. And she yeah, has one, one signature red, and it was just like this. And she described it's, it, just as you did, as a blue red. It's that. It's a deep blue red. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to... This is what I'll say. I'll say if you have... Darker hair, yeah. warmer skin, darker eyes, mm. you know, then these blue reds work really Amazing. well. Or vice versa, if you're very, very fair skinned and you like mm. something that looks quite vampish, if, if that's a look that you like, yeah. then these blue undertones are the colours that you should go for. Okay. Um, this would terrify you, Liz. If we put this <laughs> in, it terrifies me in the container, let alone on my skin. <laughs> We may never speak again if I put this on you, so we won't do that. Okay. But look, do me a favour, if, if we have time, if we can just crack mm. out the other colour, which yeah. is called Flame. That's this um, one, this, is, this is a real see. kind of scarlet. Yeah, and if we put these two Flame. next to each other, okay. you'll see that this one is more more orange-based or more yellow-based. Oh, yes. And this, it's as really you write, is, is much more scarlet. It's not that sort of blood red. Yeah. But again, I, see the I would... You know, I would say if you really like a statement bold lip, but yeah. I'm going to say you have a fairer hair or your hair's gone ash or more grey or something yeah. like that, your hair's gone that lovely silver colour, then these these tones that have a little yeah. bit more of a yellow This orange, would be a kinder colour, I think, wouldn't it? Will work much better. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Work. It's a very retro mm. red. It's, it's almost that sort of Marilyn Monroe red you know because it just yeah. it just has that, that yellow tone to it okay we're not going to put either of those formulations on okay. you today and the reason the reason is these liquid formulations mm. are dense 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 in once color. they're on they're not going to come off yeah they they stay on exactly right. that yeah and and not a red you don't have to wear red that way if you don't want to i'm going to mm. show you something else that you can do with red so it's been described it as a movie star red this one yeah and I they're fantastic and i love them and, yeah. and often i i put them on people and they say oh, i've fallen in love with it yeah. or they look in the mirror and they say oh, take that off me immediately right. i would never wear <laughs> i'm going to try i'm going to try in the comfort of my own home i might pop it on my instagram a bit later on, on my stories could, and then i'll take a vote see what fun. everybody thinks all right, so we are going to take, so I've got here a red, it's quite an orangey red, it's got quite an orangey run to tone to it, the colour's mm -hmm. called Floozy. Floozy, oh, do you yeah. know, it's such fun naming colours, I remember when the, the, the Lizard Beauty Company had their colour range, you know, naming the colours was always the best bit. <laughs> Sometimes they, the names come to you in the middle of the night and you sit up in bed and go... <sighs> so actually, when we launched this colour, we launched three colours, Foxy, uh, Floozy, and... Oh, Juliet's going to kill me for not remembering. Flirt. So Flirt. There were three Isn't that great? Flirt, Love it. Foxy and Floozy that we bought so out. So what have I got yeah. here? I've got Tango and I've got... Uh, here we go, Floozy. Here we go. We've got Floozy. 
Okay, so have you got a mirror there? I have a mirror, darling. Oh, I've just... Um, you, I think you've... Sorry, I've, I did that with my... Thank you for pointing that out. Do you know, I've got, I've got a bit of a weird habit where sometimes when I'm with women, I will reach over and adjust the makeup on their face. <laughs> I, like, it's fine with girls on earth, it's absolutely fine, but often yeah. if I'm to that on the tube or something... I know, I, think, well, I, I was, funny enough, I was with somebody the other day who I don't know terribly well, who had, a, you know, just a little bit of something here, and I very nearly did that kind of mummy thing where you go, uh, uh, <laughs> just now, now I'm going to have to stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so... so Please. The, way that this is, the way that this is going to work is we're mm -hmm. going to do what we call a little bit of a bitten red lip. And we do this on the runways. We do this in fashion all the time. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you're actually going to take a, your finger, you're going to pick a little bit of colour up with your finger, and you're going to pat it onto your lower lip. So that's the so colour. Instead, of, okay. instead of going from the stick, we're going to pat it on. Oh. So just take a little so bit just, with your oh, finger. My, my index finger, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I tend to use my middle finger, but whatever you feel comfortable, okay, whatever feels I'm comfortable the for you that's going to fit. Yeah. And then just pat a little sort of in the middle of the lower lip. Not too much. Go. Yeah. Pat it on. Oh. Okay, and as the colour goes on, just stop and just press. Just press together. Press that together. Good. 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 This is good. Very You're good. taking Go me through it very more. gently. It's it's good. Yeah. We're easing <laughs> you into can it. See where I'm going with this. It's, yeah. Okay. I'm, so I'm liking now, this. If, I'm much better than putting a, it on from here. Right. Much if better. you've got a red lipstick at home that you've never used, yeah. Go and get it out. You use use your finger. Pat it on and press it together. I'm press your put lips more together. On. Get it, go on, get it to the level that you like it. Because mm. this is the fear with red lipstick, is that it goes on and it's dramatic and, 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 and you're nervous. And what I find with red lips is people start to feel more comfortable the longer they've been wearing it for. That looks really pretty. And that's coming out quite corally on you. That's coming out mm. quite orangey, which is, which is suiting really, really well. I am actually quite liking this. How's she doing? She's not freaking out yet. No, she's remaining calm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really nice. So look, yeah. At, look. Um, yeah, the great thing say... about this, I feel that I'm wearing the lipstick and not the other way around. I think sometimes right. I've had red, li right. red lipstick that's tried to wear me. And I, I felt that I, I'm not kind of my personality and who I am is, has just been totally overtaken by this, you know, that's really funny. bright red lip. Right, yeah. And, and it's interesting, actually, because often, you know, I will be doing some makeup and I tend to have a sort of group of women around. And, and uh, I'm just going to stop for a second because that looks fantastic. I'm going to okay, keep it on. Yeah, what's coming up? I'm going to keep okay, it on. Okay, everyone's agreeing. Have we got anyone who doesn't agree? If you don't agree, I won't be offended. Mm. If you don't like it on Liz, please say no, underneath. I, I have no them. problem with that whatsoever. Um, okay, so um, often what will happen is I will put a red lipstick on, on one of my customers and all the other women will go... <gasps> Oh, that looks fantastic on you. And I show them in the mirror and they say, no, 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 no. Right. Not because of the way it looks, but because of the way it makes me feel. I just, yeah. I feel like it, as you say, the lipstick is wearing me. It's all I see when I look in the mirror. Yeah. And what I like about this, this just patting it on with your finger is you get to slowly adjust. Yeah, well, I built it up. I, I, I went back, you know, like two or three times. Yeah. Pretty, okay. Whereas yeah. if, if I'd just done up. this... I think that would have been, whoa, that's way too that scary and end, too much. That the end of our live. Yes, and <laughs> goodbye. That, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Liz, that looks fantastic. Okay, let's leave that there. Yeah. Because what I want to do now is, is, is and, and hopefully you can see this, we need to build your brow up a little bit. Oh, okay. We need to create a little bit of balance here. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I would say lips and eyebrows are best friends, all right? When you're doing lipstick, especially if you're wearing a red, Mascara, eyeliner, don't get carried away with your eyeshadow. Eyebrows are going to be your best friends. So right. you should have our, yeah. do you have our, our, do. our sable brow? I do. I, I wondered why that was in the box with my lipsticks. I was thinking, I'm sure let's, we're doing lips. Why, why have you sent me a brow thing? Yeah, let's build that brow up a little bit. So you know how to use this because we've used it before. But if, if, if the guys at home haven't seen it, it is like right. a tiny brow mascara. Let's see this. Really, where you really can clever. just and there is a little bit of like a gel color in there that will just give a tint to the brow. Okay. So it's a very quick, very easy way to, to put the brow in without it looking too structured. Okay. So if you just paint, yeah, if you just put some of that, that color through, 
Mm. And I did send you the pencil, but you may not need it. But I will just say this to the guys at home. If you feel like you, you need a pencil because you might you need to structure the brow a bit more, then we have the pencil as well in, in sable, okay. too, which is a great colour to wear with red. It is sort of, sort of cold, grey-brown colour. Best of all, I've always worn red lipstick. I have as it gets older, conscious over the top. Uh, control the lipstick and not the other way around yes and my advice would be again if you've got a color that you love that you that now your feeling is too bright for you or too strong tap it onto the tap lip instead on. take that and tap it okay that looks much better yeah, that does. looks much better it does yeah and it's not too obvious i don't feel you know because sometimes the look has been too much of these kind of mono brows or beetle brows right. which i mean right. it's, it's fine if you're We're... 16 but no, uh, it's refreshing. Actually, even the 16-year-olds are beginning to realise that that's softer. That's we call it a fluffy brow in the industry, actually. That sort of fluffy, fluffy. shape to the brow. What I like about come. this is that you can comb your brows up, because I find that's always a way of lifting the eyes, isn't it? Especially yeah, as our eyelids great... kind of droop a bit. You want to lift them up. It's a really, really great tip. And actually, the gel in that formulation will, will hold the brows into place. So often, if you've got that one rogue brow that is always pointing in, in the wrong direction yeah magnetically north or whatever you yeah. can groom that brow into place and it'll, it'll stay in place i'm excited for the reveal here i'm, I'm, I'm liking that, that a lot great. that's great that's fun. that just has a little bit more balance you know that looks yeah. really really lovely yeah without so looking just, artificial doesn't look as without as looking artificial painted yeah, anything exactly. on and I think, you know, that's the thing with, with red lips. You know, I think you've got to learn to flip the balance. If you're used to doing a little bit more with your eyes, mm -hmm. and if you do less, less with your lips, keeping the lip natural, you need to be prepared to sort of flip that balance. And yeah, it be and keep the and other keep way around. Would, more would you put a, a gloss on the lip or would you keep it quite matte? Okay, so, so we can do all sorts of things here. I And I like all of the above, so I, there's a time and a place for a matte lip. I'll say this, if we put a gloss on top, it will shift around a little more. Yeah. Because what we're doing is we're interfering with, with the structure of the lipstick. It'll look really pretty, but it will transfer more. Yeah. So if you're in an event, if you've been hanging a glass of wine or something, with gloss on it, it will transfer more. But it will look very, very pretty. So if you're having photographs done, you mm. can dab a little bit of gloss over the top. That can look really, really pretty as well. Yeah. Which we can do. We can take a little bit of this jewel, actually. That might be quite fun to do. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. finish off and with that. Just, so and you may find right one. Mm -hmm. that this jewel will take the redness down if you're nervous about it looking too red then you okay. can just press this colour in the middle. Uh, someone is just asking, Sarah, what colour was the brow gel? Uh, the colour that we've, on the brow we've been using today is is sable. Uh, and, and again, even you know, if you're dark-haired or even if you have fair hair, often your brows can be darker. So sable is a really, really good colour. I this, like this really over the top. This that's is... really pretty. And you'll find, again, that the, the that will soften. Yeah, really nice. Uh, and, and again, keep a, keep a tissue handy. You know, if you're getting ready in the evening, if at any point it looks too much, you can give it a careful blot mm. on a tissue and it'll take the whole thing down. It'll take the whole thing back a mm. little bit. Mm -hmm. So very famously, Elizabeth Taylor, the amazing Elizabeth Taylor, would apply and blot 10 times in a row. And that's the, that's the way she'd get that real density to the lip wow. cover just building so it really, layering really, it pushing it into the lip every time pushing it into exactly and what she would do is she would kiss a tissue rather than press together because what that does is it will lift out the oils there you go lovely let's have a look oh, and we got a, and we got a nice lip i always have a look think oh yeah that's, yeah, yeah. that's oh there we go <laughs> we'll stick that on ebay <laughs> <laughs> if you sign it Okay, okay, okay. that would be so funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, we That's could do a good that. One. A that is a really option. good one. Um, uh, Rupert, so you can, you mm -hmm. can flatten that out, and then actually it'll last a little bit longer, and you'll take the colour down. That looks really pretty on you. Yeah, really, I'm, really I'm, pretty. I'm That's super great. happy. Thank you. It might even end so, up as a look on a cover of the magazine. You never know. Let's see. Might even, yeah, I mean, might even get there. Maybe, the, maybe, maybe the Christmas cover. Yeah. <laughs> Um, then the last thing I would say, look, yeah. when you put your lipstick on, if at any point you feel like you need to push up the blush, 
don't be afraid. You know, just look in the mirror. Does it all balance? If you need a little bit more color on the front mm -hmm. of the cheek, I've sent you the coral blush, but you did a little bit with the lipstick. So I think it looks I did quite, a little bit, bad. but I've got clementine here, which I really like. It's a great corally color and works That's really well. It works well Can with red, see? actually. Interestingly, yeah. obviously, because we've got quite an orangey red on. If you've got yeah. a more orange undertone to your blush, that's going to work. Had we have gone with retro, which is a more bluey undertone, you may think you may find that a pinker, a pinker colour blush would work. Um, and I've got got quite. A, this is a lovely colour here. This is called dusk. That's and, very uh, pretty. It's, it's like a, a pale pinky colour. It's kind of warm dusk. pink, very mm. very wearable as well. So if you've got a fairer skin tone and you're wearing a bluer colour lipstick or even a bright pink, we didn't talk about the bright pinks. Yeah. If you wear a bright pink, then a, a rosy colour like this works yeah. really nice. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this. Go for it. You've been very brave today. <gasps> brave if girl, you were in my chair, I would, I would give you a lollipop to go home. <laughs> with. Yeah. Exactly. Too much sugar, really honey. I'm low GI. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm that, happy with a handful of nuts is, instead. <laughs> a sticker it is. That looks gorgeous. Yeah. Just now, now you can yell out the window with the guy with the strimmer and he'll do anything. I know, poor guys. I think they're waiting there with their hands in their pockets, waiting to be allowed to start <laughs> up again. Before I terrify them, they're going to say, who's this extraordinarily dynamic woman with her bright red lipstick? Makes me very confident, <laughs> actually. Very assertive now. Now I've got my lips on. Quite right, too. Yeah. So I have to very quickly. Uh, they, uh, they were quite a prominent figure that I used to make up many, many years ago. Political figure, I won't say who it is, uh, but she was very well known for her red lipsticks. And makeup artists used to be quite critical of her, her red lip colour. Mm. And when I did her makeup, she would always produce this red lip. And she said to me, "I know that people say this doesn't suit me, but I love the way it makes me feel." And mm. and there's something about that, right? There's something yeah. wonderful about makeup and the way that it can transform your okay. mood like that. You know, and, and yeah, give you some confidence, you know. So, yeah, yeah. I, I hope that that's been fun and useful. It really and, uh, has. I think, I mean, there's so many people watching and so many comments. And thank you so much. I always honestly, love chatting. It's such a great way to start the week, Rupert. You just lift us all up and bring us so much thank joy. You. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. And thanks for being such a good sport. Oh, no, my goodness. I, I, I totally trust you. So, you know, that's it. And I learn. So thank you very much. Such a pleasure, honestly. And thank you again to your lovely community oh, who, who come and interact with us here at Delilah. Honestly, you know, we love the chatting best. to you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks, darling. Have a great week. You too. Thanks See so you. much. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Yeah, no, you're going to have to leave me, honey. Otherwise, if I click it, then everybody might go. Wasn't that so good? Honestly, I have to say, I was just a little bit nervous. I was just thinking, oh, no, this could all go really horribly wrong. And I'm going to have to pretend to like it. But no. <laughs> I love that tip, actually, of using just your middle finger. You know, if you've got a bright red lipstick or something that perhaps you haven't worn because it's too much, why don't you try that? Let me know. Drop me a comment. I would love to hear. As Rupert said, he has very kindly given us the Liz Loves affiliate discount. It's 20% off all his lovely things. Um, as long as they're not in the sets, because the sets are already discounted. But as he said, that was the pencil that I used absolutely love that with its natty little sharpener at the end and this color is uh, it's called buff buff yeah as in in the buff um and then the lipstick the lip gloss was this one jewel j-e-w-e-l jewel like a, a gem gemstone real winner i thought and yeah surprisingly good old floozy so floozy, that sort of slightly corally red. So there we go. Thanks, guys. So before we sign off, a couple of other quick little beauty bits, because I try and throw in a few more things on a Monday when it's a makeover Monday. Um, I have been sent some new things from Percy and Reed, which is a great British hair care brand. Guys at Percy and Reed are just brilliant. We also do have the 15% off and a couple of things that I've been trying, which I really, really like. The Give Me Strength Strengthening Conditioner. You may have noticed I've had my highlights redone and I always find that it just dries my hair so much because it's bleach. So this has been brilliant at putting a bit of condition and strength back into my hair. Um, and then two sprays which I really like so this is the instant volumizing spray and I know a lot of you have been talking about hair that gets thinner as we age thinner and finer losing hair hair loss is such a big issue for so many women this is really good it smells amazing you give it a shake so it's got a little ball bearing or something in it 
and how you do it is it I don't know if you can see it if I spray it can you see that really fine spray so you kind of lift up your hair and spray and it just gives you it literally plumps up the volume it is extraordinary um, absolutely great it's also really good in between hair washes so you don't have to keep washing your hair it's, I guess it's like a really good dry shampoo but with much more on the volume and the lifting and making hair look thicker um, it's called big bold and beautiful dry instant volumizing spray I like it a lot it smells nice too um, and the other spray is shine and fragrance spray and this I found really good actually I love these little travel sizes I think these are I love brands that actually invest in travel sizes it's always an expensive thing for a brand to do much easier just to make you know lots and lots of big full sizes but you know a brand is a really good brand when they actually bother to have good decent travel sizes so well done Percy and Reed um, shine and fragrance spray again give this one a little shake and what I like about this is that if your hair is you know colored like mine or older and drier you can just use it on the ends and it just gives the ends a bit of shine it's often easy to get kind of shine up here naturally um, with a good conditioner but for, to get shine through the ends is is tricky without making your hair look flat you know you can use oils and things but they tend to weigh the hair down and then it becomes lank and it looks limp and greasy and you don't want that so just this you can see, hopefully, it's just given a little bit of shine to where I've just curled the end of my hair. Um, the smell is really nice too, really good. Um, and then the last one, this actually was the travel size. Again, this is a volumizing mousse, and to keep my hair from going flat, I tend to use a mousse when I um, blow dry it. And I like this one. If I'm going away, hopefully we're all going away and traveling a little bit more, then travel sizes. You don't want to be taking those huge, great sprays with you or, or cans of mousse, but little ones. So thank you, Percy and Reed. Very nice to have those. Um, definitely good additions. And if you use your Liz Loves, there is the affiliate discount code for 15% off everything. So you can try all their travel sizes at a discount, which is really good. Um, many of you have written and just commented to say, well done to Lily. A little bit of a shout out here. I was on the Get the Gloss Instagram Live last week with Victoria Woodall, who's their uh, editorial director, who's a really brilliant journalist. I've known her for a long, long time, and she writes such good stuff on Get the Gloss website. And she picked up that it was National Migraine Week last week, and she invited Lily and me to go and have a chat on their channel. And if you're on Instagram, do go and take a look and a listen. It, Lily talked so bravely about her journey with chronic pain, and there was lots of helpful information, not only for migraine, but also for fibromyalgia, ME, you know, post-viral fatigue syndrome, all of those things. And as part of it, uh, she was also able to show her cell return mask, which was really lovely to see that brand just going so well. She's such a beauty tech entrepreneur, it's, uh, it's lovely. And she did have her mask, which is this one, tested by the Good Housekeeping Institute and or I think it's actually known as the Hearst Institute now because they include not only good housekeeping but they have all the other magazines as well like L and Red and um, other ones so this I'm sure you've seen it before it's just amazingly powerful and we know how brilliant it is but they had it independently tested um, by the Hearst Institute and of course it won it just came top it won all the awards and was like best in class so hugely well done to Lily uh, those of you have been asking how I've been getting on with my neck already. So this is the one that's specifically for the neck. And I was wearing this this morning, actually, make sure I got it on the right way around. Literally, wore it this morning as I was making my brunch. And you just wear it for 20 minutes and you go and have a look at their website. All the tech and the information is there about how it stimulates the mitochondria into creating new collagen and elastin and just really renewing areas of the skin that can become um, aged perhaps before our time and I know that we do still have a Liz Loves with cell return which gets you 10% off um, and I believe that they also maybe have the little free sonic cleanser if not you can buy these separately these are really good these are a much lower cost much less of a beauty investment but really good for cleaning the skin because I don't know whether you can hear it can you hear it vibrating um, when you put your fingers in it, it's South Korean, it's so clever, they're so brilliant with their tech. When you take your fingers out, it stops, put your fingers in, 
You can use it with any cleanser and your skin is just so soft and smooth and deep down clean anyway. I said I would give my lovely Lily a shout out for that. So I hope you're feeling okay today, darling, if you are watching. Very nice to have you with me. Thank you for joining in. I hope that you've enjoyed all those tips. I'm gonna keep my red lips on for the rest of the day. I may try a little bit later if I'm feeling adventurous um, these two amazing things and see how we get on with them. This was, uh, this one is called Flame. This was the kind of uh, orangey red. And then this one, which reminds me so much of Plum and Picasso, um, is called uh, Retro, this one, okay, which is the real blue red. So I might be brave and pop those on my Instagram stories a little bit later. Maybe we'll do a poll and you can tell me what you think. Anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you for all your comments. Lovely, lovely to have you with me. Thank you very much to Rupert as well. I'm back with you live on Wednesday. We've got a Wellbeing Wednesday. So we're looking at uh, different areas of wellness and well-being. Really interesting new things to talk about on Wednesday, particularly to do with digestion and gut health and everything from IBS to bloating, abdominal inflammation, acid reflux, all of that. So we're going to be talking all about that with a proper guaranteed expert. So pop that in your diary if you'd like to join. I'll be here 12.30 live UK time on Instagram and Facebook. Later, of course, on Catch Up and also on YouTube. Have a lovely rest of the day. Take care. Go well. Have a great week. It's got off to a very good start. Lots of love. Bye-bye.